Vanilla Alexander with Hornets.com. Congratulations. Now that you've kind of had a couple of days to process the draft, what's it feel like being here, seeing your new home, seeing your new city, things like that? You say, how is it? How does it feel that you know you're here, you process the draft? Right. How does it feel you're in your new city, new organization? Uh, feel definitely right feel now? good. I mean, last night had some cookout. That was cool. So whole little state in here feel like a good vibe. Did you go for the cookout tray, or do you have a particular cookout favorite? Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. But do you have a particular cookout favorite? Uh, to be honest, I just had a little chicken sandwich with the secret sauce and some of the fries. Cajun fries was good, though. I'm not going to lie to you. It was good. Right. Uh, I mean, I've been all over the world. All the spots I went to, I feel like I went there and learned something. So I feel like it helped a lot. Some of your new teammates, you know, the guys you were drafted with, new coaches, you know, front office. I mean, what, what's that kind of feel like? You feel like you've started to meet some of your new teammates, obviously with the other rookies and your coaches and the organization. Is it? Is it? You know, how's the initial? I'm, no, so, I'm sorry, my man. I can't hear you. Come on. Meeting some of your fellow rookies and draftees and coaches and things like that. What's your first impressions of the guys you're going to be working with this year? For sure. Uh, first impression, I mean, I already knew some of the people on the team, so we all cool and stuff. And then the rookies they pick, all the three of us, we already cool and stuff. So, yeah, it's cool. How ready are you? Are you confident to bet to do this thing? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely ready. I mean, we haven't played basketball in a minute with the times we've been in. So, yeah, definitely ready to get on the court. Yeah. Uh, what, do you, what do you think it is that, that you bring to the table here? What are you hoping to bring here to the Hornets? Uh, hopefully just some leadership and just hard work. That's pretty much it. Individual, what are you looking to accomplish this year? Uh, definitely just to thrive and stuck on winning. You know, everybody wants to win, so definitely wins. Anything else for Love? Uh, your passing skills have been credited quite, quite a bit. What other areas of your game are you looking to work on heading into your first season? Uh, pretty much just all aspects of the game. I pretty much want to work on everything, not really bottle cap anything, so I could just be an all around player. Dad, it, it challenged. Um, I had a feeling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna ask you. Right. How would, would you like to see that happen, and uh, how would that turn out? Uh, like I said, I, I don't think it's gonna happen, and then I think we know how it would turn out, to be honest. So I don't, I don't really know too much, but I mean that is my pops, and it's my boss, so I'm on both sides now. You feel me? Played against Lonzo head to head. I know you guys were on the same high school team. If you guys played head to head, you thought about what that first you know meeting will be like against New Orleans. The car was messing you up. The car. Was... I said I know you and your brother Lonzo have played on the same high school team. Have you thought at all what it's going to be like right. to play against each other for the first time in the NBA? And is there any trash talk or anything like that already started? You said, how would it be to play against them? Yes. I know you played together. Right. You thought about what it's going to be like playing against uh, them. Pretty much. I mean, every game I go against, I just go out there and try my best. So really don't really lock on the, uh, you know, personnel and stuff like that. No, not yet. We just FaceTime a couple times. That's it. Hey, LaMelo, I'm going to use the mic if you can hear me. Sure. Um, welcome to town. Uh, the way you pass and, and handle the ball, I mean, how much time and work and how back, how far back does that go with you and the basketball to be able to be, have that much confidence with the ball? Uh, I mean, I think since I started playing, ever since I was passing, just the way I played at a young age, seeing different passes and stuff like that.